Now, better monitoring of overfishing is going to take global acceptance of the 13 regional fisheries management organizations in the world. Only about six require onboard monitoring to enforce rules on unintentional catches and quotas. Meanwhile, an estimated 11% of U.S. seafood imports come from illegal unreported and unregulated fishing. That is according to the U.S. International Trade Commission. U.S. environmental scientists are leading efforts to promote electronic monitoring internationally. In order for there to be policy that um, requires electronic monitoring, there needs to be standards in place first so that it's not just a matter of putting cameras on board. You need to ensure that everyone's following similar protocols. There has been some new acceptance of video monitoring by people like the owner of Red Lobster and Chicken of the Sea. They're committed to having 100% on the water monitoring by 2025, but cameras can be a double edged sword. One of the US based trailblazers for video monitoring ended up facing charges related to illegal fishing. His boat was inside US waters, but hard to predict underwater currents carried some of his gear a few miles over an invisible line into Bahamas territory. When they pulled up the gear, they caught swordfish, tuna, and mahi-mahi. Noah ended up finding them $300,000 for what the owners say was an accident. This is our own government imposing a fine on us for an incursion that, that nobody else was even aware of other than our own agency. That fine almost cost them the company, and it also made a lot of other U.S. fishermen leery of cameras. Some also fear by adding more regulations to U.S. boats, more fishing could be transferred overseas where there is less oversight.